Look good, look good, awesome, awesome. Glad that buff does it, look good. I'll write the papers, but just flew. Yep. All right, here we go. Check in the bike. Check in the bike. Checking it up. That's just ridiculous. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got going on. Let's see what we got going on. Does it sound good? Does the volume go up a little bit? How we doing? How everything's going? Oh, Just trying to see what's going on. See if that does anything, if that makes anything any better. All right, let's see if that does anything. I boosted up the sound just a tad bit. Don't want to go all the way. Up. Don't want to blow out my eardrums. See if the sound is good. Just make sure everything is going well. Just make sure. Interested in Vibe Campus? Vibe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vibe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. 
From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Fight View program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine. Fight Campus is truly whatever you want. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association.
We need a roster for the Grange Leopards. A roster to the press box, please.
All right. About seven minutes out. First in the lineup will be Brendan Maddox, number one. Number five, Bennett Barber. Number 11, Caden Hall. Number two, Clay Wolf. Number 13, Trenton Barnes. Number 17, Brady Horton. Number 15, Max Dixon. Number 12, Ty Stark. And number three, Gunner. Jurek. Substitutes uh, for the Leopards will be number four, Corey Krause. Number six, Austin Nebelet. Number seven, Chase Carnivet. Number eight, Ryder Einhoff. Number nine, Cameron Cruz. Number 16, Brock Loher. Now I'd like to introduce our main New Tech Titans. Playing center field will be number two, Jackson Williams. At shortstop, number seven, Darius Stewart. On the mound tonight is number 17, Daniel Alden Cortinas. At first base, number 20, Katie Easley. Right field, number nine, Matt Ruiz. Second base, number 11, Ace Cyphers. At third base, number 16, Braylon Thomas. Behind the plate will be number three, I mean, at left field will be number three, Jonathan Maldonado. And behind the plate will be number 13, Malachi Mathis. Subs for tonight's game will be number three, Jaden Davenport. Number five, Jaden Dav Davenport. Alexander, Alexander Gonzalez. Daniel Chapa. And Wyatt Avery. I'd like to now ask that you stand and rise and honor our country as we look to center field uh, and honor the playing of our national anthem. <laughs>
I'm Joshua Blanche, back out here in Maynard, Texas, for another good game we will have between the Maynard New Tech Titans and the LaGrange Leopards. Both these teams were very eager to get this game going. Hold on for one moment. All right, that's better. Anyway, both teams are looking to get something going today. Hopefully they can with everything that's going. It will be the Leopards who will be batting at the top of the innings. It will be the Titans batting at the bottom. It is the Titans who are in their blue jerseys and white pants. A little bit different than what I've seen them in normally. Normally they're white and white. And it will be the Leopards in their purple top. So again, these two teams will meet again on Friday, but definitely want to get a good game going. Last time when we were out here, we unfortunately saw the Titans fall to Smithville after seven innings. It was a hard fought game, just couldn't pull it out, but definitely look for something different today. Strike one, as that is Brendan Maddox, who is currently at the plate, first in the rotation. So he hits that one, but that one is going towards left field, out. That will be a strike. So that's no balls, two strikes. Hope for something. That one is a ball. Close. A swing and a miss, and that will be strike three. Already one out. So now Bennett Barber comes up. He swings and that will be a ball. Here on a very windy day that could maybe affect something. And they're calling that a strike. So one ball, one strike. hits, but it's foul ball. As a hit that one, cannot. Two balls, two strikes currently. That one is hit high. Uh, but it's going backward. Get that one. Piece of that. Trying to get the first, and he will get there. So, 
and on first for Barber. Next up the bat, number 11, Caden Hall. Number 11, Caden Hall, that's the next batter up. He's going to try to help out Barber the best that he can. Looks as if the ball was just a little bit elusive for the Titans at that moment. There we go. All set and ready to go. Alden Cortinez is also ready. That is a strike. Trying to get Barbara out really quickly. Could not. Close. That will be a ball. 1-1 one, one is the count. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. High. It was going to be a ball. 2-2. Two, two. Ooh. Fairly close for, to get Barbara out, but they still call him safe. He's still at first. high. It's the field, but it's caught. It's going into left field. That is the second out of the inning. Titans are looking to get that last out. So Wolf now coming up. Trying to get something going. The first one will be a ball. The second one will also be a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Right. Trying to get something safe. Still trying to go after Barber. Just trying to go after Barber. That one is in high, but will be considered a strike. Oh, let's try that one. Another strike makes that strike two. Two balls, two strikes. There we go. That one is deep into left field. A chance. He missed it. As Barbara is running around. 
gets there and is going to score. And so that is one nothing for LaGrange. All able to get to second base. Up the bat the third team, Bonds. Bonds now comes up. Oh, Barnes, pardon me. I thought it was Bonds. So Barnes now coming up to try to add on to that. One nothing currently our score. Leopards over the Titans. And he'll hit that one, but no. We strike one. That one is hit in the center field. Barnes is able to, go to get to first. And another score, Hall will be able to get there. 2-0. And already the Titans find themselves down by two runs. Strike one. Horton, the next batter up. That'll be a ball. That's two balls. Strike one, two balls, one strike for Horton. Has a man on second. Gonna try to help him go or get home. Two, two. A very important pitch for Alden Cortinez. There's strike three, and that will end the top of the inning. Two. Trying to get something going. First up the bat, number two, Jackson Williams. Uh, so 
Williams now, the first one up to bat for the Titans today. Uh, this evening, rather. Uh, we strike one. Wind starts to blow just a tad bit. Target. Right, that one is going to, looks like it's going to hit the dirt before it hits the pitcher's glove. That'll be a ball. Same thing happening again. Hit the ground before it hit the glove. There's something going. That one is a hit. Going eight deep in about center left field. Trying to get there. He's going to get the second. Does he have enough to get the third? And he will slide to be safe. So next to you will be Darius Stewart. There is Stewart now. I'm gonna try to help his man get home after hitting a triple. Still trying to get some going. He'll hit that one high. And they're gonna call that out. That is the first out. Next up, Daniel Alden Cortinas. So Alden Cortinas coming in. He'll hit that one. It's going to go into left field. A chance as Cortinas will get the first. Williams will score. Looks like the bat. It was easily. So easily let's go. I think Alden Cortinez looks like he is in the mood to steal the base. So he'll hit that one, but it'll go immediately. It'll go immediately into the first baseman's glove, and he will not only get easily out, but Alden Cortina is out in the same breath. So that will end the first inning. 2-1 LaGrange. That is our score currently. So we'll take a break and come back in just a moment. Again, you are watching Man of New Tech Baseball here on Fife Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets, millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. 
We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. All right, getting ready to get started here at the top of the second. Mike, come here. 2 1, current score between the Leopards and the Titans. Alden Cortinez is now back on the mound. As that pitch will not get there. One ball. Strike one. Ball hits the ground again. Two balls, one strike. So this is Max Dixon. Max Dixon. See, he gets that one. Right there, don't know if he'll get in time, and he is out. First out. So Stark will be the next one coming up. Ty Stark, now that is, that one just goes right into Mathis's glove. That one is hit high into left field, but it's caught. And that is an out. Next up to bat number three, Gunner Jerk. Drek or Jurek, one of the two, but I, we're going to go with Drek for now. So we are told otherwise, is he going to try to bunt that one and miss the ball entirely? That will count as a strike. Try that again, and strike two. Be the first ball. Nope. Two two. And that will be strike three, out three. And so they'll switch sides. And so we will take a quick break and come back. You are watching Main and New Tech Baseball here on Bife Live. Back in a moment. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up. Hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away but they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. All right, here we are. Bottom of the second already. It seems like it's just flying by at this point. 2-1. Leopards lead as Ruiz 
Now comes in. Just waiting on the coach to get into his spot. Oh, and Ruiz will just take a base as he is hit with the ball. And A. Cyphers will be the next one to pop up. Trying to get something going. Cyphers, that one. Balls. Ruiz taking his opportunity. And he'll go to second base. Oh, that's going to be a strike. So one ball, one strike for Cyphers. Trying to get something going as it's in there. And a mishandling by the Leopards as Ruiz is able to get to third base. Cypher is able to get to first. Next up to bat, number 16, Thomas. That's Thomas is down, the next one up to bat. Looks like both Ruiz and Cyphers were trying to steal something at the same time. Good chance. Trying to go down, trying to get it. And they're going to call him safe. One ball, one strike, I believe. Yes, one ball, one strike. Cypher is now on second. Makes a strike two. So there was no ball, no balls, two strikes. That one is hit inside as Ruiz will tie up the game. Cyphers will safely get the third. Next up to bat, and 13, Malachi Mathis. Mathis now comes up. Thomas is out. Ooh. This has it. It's fallen. That one is hit inside, trying to get the home in time. And he's safe. And that's a score for Cyphers. Three, two. 
Small Nuttle now comes up. Something. Goes down. One ball, one strike. Two balls, two strikes for Maldonado. There's something as two two still the still the count. Trying to get something. And he's out. Strike three. Out number two. As already now, the top. At the top of the rotation are the Titans. With a one-run lead looking for something. Gonzalez now comes in for Mathis to run the bases. Strike one. Strikes, no balls. And that's it. So the Titans are able to take the lead in this inning at the end of two. Let's see what they can do with the lead. So we'll take a break, come back in just a minute. You are watching Maynard New Tech Baseball here on Vipe Live. <laughs> There are no words to describe it. The isolation, the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, 
and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Back now. Maddox now comes back up to bat. 3 2, current score here at the top of the third. That's an error right there. First one is a ball. Trying to get that going. Second one is a ball. That one is hit high. Makes contact with the bat, but doesn't go where it needs to. That'll be a strike. Three balls, one strike. Maddox hits that one high. There's a chance as Alden Cortinez gets it, and that will be an out. So Marvin now coming back up to the plate. Marvin already scored in the first inning. Over your ball. That is a strike. Two balls, one strike here in this third inning for the Leopards. And that one kind of goes the opposite way, making that count 2-2. Two -two. So three balls, two strikes. I want to hit high, but goes the opposite way. They're going to call that a foul. And that is one more ball, and that will be a walk. Barbara gets the first. Up 
Hall now taking the mound. Or he's now at bat. Pardon me. First one is the ball. Looking to catch Barber off guard. Could not. You're trying to get Barbara off guard. That one is a strike. One more, one one. We get the count. One ball, two strikes. And that one is hit high. Alden Cortinez trying to get there in time, could not. So one ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. I want us hit high. Into the field. It's caught. And that is an out. Two outs. Trying to get something, although he's safe. Trying to still get Barber. Nope. That'll be a ball. Two balls, no strikes. And that will be a walk. Looks like the Titans are converging, talking about their new strategy.
So Barnes now comes up. Barnes now comes up with a chance and opportunity. Uh, that one is going. Strike one. Will be a, a ball. A little bit of miscommunication there. There's one ball to one ball two strikes. Tanks just eating out. Two balls, two strikes. And that will be another walk. No, nope, that will be an out. We'll switch sides and we'll uh we'll switch sides, take a break, get right back to you. You're watching Made of New Tech Baseball here on Vibe Live back in just a second. <laughs> Hey high schoolers, are you interested in a career in sports media? Vibe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vibe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vibe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vibe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vibe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vitemedia.com to find out more about Vibe U today. All right, welcome back, Stewart. Sorry, things not staying up near my mouth. Uh, Stewart now comes up to bat. As we are here, starting the, pardon me, the bottom of the third. First one is the ball. Trying to see what happens now. That's trying to add on to that lead. That one connects, but it's going down the foul line. Let me strike one. One one is the count. Miss that one. Strike one ball, two strikes. Right, so two balls, two strikes. Let's 
swing and a miss, and he's out. So on the Cortinez now. That is hit high into center field, but it's unfortunately caught. Alden Cortinez is out, and that will be the second out of the inning for the Titans. Oh. Strike one. Caden Easley now up to bat. Swing and a miss. Strike two. A little high, just over the head of all. easily. Another ball, two balls, two strikes. And again, and he's out. So that's going to end the inning. Score is 3-2 as we get ready to get started in the top of the fourth. So we'll take a break just for a moment, and uh, we'll come back with the top of the fourth. You are watching New Tech Baseball here on Vipe Live. Back in just a moment. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. It increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. Always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. They've been having pretty good defense. Uh, pretty good. As now it comes. That is a good little one, but it's going to go out. Looks like the wind has died down. As Late afternoon has now officially turned into evening. And 
that is strike number two. Trying to get something going. Going, that's high, going into the outfield. So it will. Max Dixon now comes up. A man already on first. No outs just yet. Coach trying to get something going. And that is the first out. So one out for the Titans now trying to get the subsequent two. Some fans have mixed opinions on the call. One ball, no strikes just yet. That is a high hanging one. What immediately caught. That is an out, two outs. Stark. Stark now comes up to bat to try to get something going here in the inning for him. And he gets that one immediately. Trying to get there in time, and they do. So already really easy inning for the Titans. Able to get through it fairly quickly. So we will take another break, very quick one as the Leopards come in and try to, or as the Titans try to come in and add to this lead. Back in just a moment. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. already having a run to his name here in the game. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Strike two for, for Ruiz. Oh, 
There we go. That's a good one going into center field, but is unfortunately caught. That will count as an out. So now Cyphers comes in. Hits the ground. It could have been done that next Monday. Probably a ball. Ooh, that one was a little bit high. But I'll count it as the second ball. Two balls, no strikes just yet. Three balls. Cypress plays this right. Gets a good pitch. Maybe this can be a little bit of a walk. And that is going to be a walk for Cypress who takes off and runs the first base. So Thomas now comes up with the chance to try to help out. Only one out for the Titans here in this inning. Hit high, hanging, but fortunately, curves back out, but did go over the fence. There we go, that one is hit inside, but caught. Cypher's trying to get back in time. Does that is out number two? Cyphers was in a. As Mathis now comes up, Cyphers was in a very compromising situation. Mathis trying to get something going. <laughs> that one is a ball. something going. That one is going, but unfortunately, it's a strike. That's a good one. High hanging, but it is immediately caught. And that will end the fourth inning. So we now make it to the fifth. So we'll take a break and come back in just a moment. You are watching Maynard New Tech Baseball here on Vibe Live back in just a moment. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. 
This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All right, back now. Trying to get it. Titans trying to do what they can. Hold on and get this, get this win. I want to thank our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors. Academy Sports and Outdoors, back to school, also means back to sport. And from football cleat, uh, from graphic tees to football cleats, we have everything you need to make sure that this is your best year yet. Swing by your local Academy store today or shop online at academy.com and you can find all the hottest styles from top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans, all at prices you'll love. So if you want game-changing gear, start here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Thank you so much for sponsoring us. You've been a sponsor for us all season. As we now come into the top of the fifth, trying to see what the Titans will do. Leopards are only down a run, but despite the two runs that they got in the top of the first inning, they have not really been far. As a matter of fact, I don't even think a, if I'm not mistaken, a Leopard has not even been to third base since the first inning. They've had some guys get to second, but not a lot of guys get to third or even close. So they're looking to try to change that up and make something happen. are looking at the fifth inning. Maynard Newtek again has had some opportunities, just hasn't been able to piece everything together offensively, but defensively they have been very good. The jerk is now is in here. First one is a strike. Oh, strike two for Jurek. That'll be a ball. Ball number two. And that is strike three, and Jerk is out. This is the first out. Go, boys, bring the bat! Again, New Tech has to be very, very careful. They are only down one run. They're only up one run, pardon me. And a lot can change, especially because they have some guys on the other side. Strike one. Maddox now back up on top. Strike two. That one is hit high. Rolls. And they're going to call that a foul. Yeah, so they are officially calling that one a foul. Having Maddox come back up into the box and swing it again. Josh is a one. And some players are wondering, even some fans are wondering what's going on. I think what happened is that he was going down the line but kind of went outside at some point. And it was a slightly late call. Tries it, and that is strike three, making this out number two. 
Number six in the lineup, number five, Bennett Barber. So Barber not coming back, trying to get something going. Already two outs. So he'll hit that one. That is good. Trying to get it across the field in time. Too high for Easley. Barber trying to go to second. And he'll stay at second. Thomas had the ball in his hands, threw it a little bit high. Excuse me. Do it a little bit high for Easley. Third in the lineup, number 11, Caden Hall. And Easley, you know, good dude, but you know, I know Easley, none of, none of these kids can jump that high. So went over his head and that gave him an opportunity. Next batter is up for the Leopards, which is Hall. So Hall hits that one, that is strike one. Swing for individual. Miss Bullet. Titan, you need to be careful. Something on. As that ball is missed, Barber's taking his chance and he's going to get the third. <laughs> and so now, for the first time in a while, you have a leopard on third with the ability to tie up the game. This is a dangerous position for the Titans. That's ball number two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Here at the top of the fifth. Hit high, no good. And over the net into the opposing team stands. Towards the road. A little scoot by Hall. You say that's three two, three balls, two strikes. Calls time. Trying to do something, trying to get it going. It'll hit it, and that's it. Titans are able to get out of that very sticky situation and come to the bottom of the inning with a chance to still score and add on to their lead. So we'll take a break for just a moment and come back. You are watching Maynard New Tech Baseball here on Fight Live. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. 
it increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. Always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All right, we are now back here. Back, back with the Titans and Leopards. 3 2 is the current score. Titans now with an opportunity to build on this lead and try to do the best that they can to make sure that the sixth inning, the top of the sixth inning, is the end of the game. Played in a little too close to the chest this time. In the last inning, almost had a opportunity to score. Had Barbara on third, ready to go. But luckily was able to get him off and push through. So a chance to go to see what happens. This is a major, major thing. If you're the Titans, what you want to do is you want to score, because if you can score here, if Maldonado comes up, you score here, you can make this a... the most. Maldonado gets up there. Well, a swing and a miss. Strike one. That one hits. Connects. He misses a leopard as Maldonado gets the first. So now at the top of their rotation again, Williams now comes back. Trying to push through, get through. Von Nottom in a great spot. As that one is hit, it's bunted. As he's trying to get there in time, he does safe. Williams is there on second, Maldonado. Sorry, Williams on first, Maldonado on second. Number seven, Darius Stewart now. If he can do it right, he can make these bases loaded. Let's wait. Oh, as a chance, Maldonado had a small opportunity of a window. Took it and realized he didn't have that much longer to go. Tried to get to third, couldn't get there. Still at second. And that is a ball. So two balls, one. Two balls, no strikes, pardon me. Here at the bottom of the fifth, trying to get something going. That one is hit right over the catcher. And they're trying to get all three of them as Stewart trying to get there. He slides, gets the second. So already two outs. Next up, Daniel Alden Cortinas. Alden Cortinas trying to do what he can do. Oh. Oh. 
Ball goes down. Williams had a chance. I guess that's Stewart earlier, but Williams. So Williams at second. Oh, just enough for it. Get it. That's strike. Strike one. Two balls, one strike for Alden Cortinez. Three balls. One strike. Pass again. That is strike number two. Three balls, two strikes. And the Leopards looking for the chance to end the inning right here. Yeah. And they do. So 3-2 as we start the sixth. Leopards with the chance to either tie or extend. Tie and or extend the inning. So we'll keep it. Nope, and yeah, we'll take a break. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Again, you are watching Mater New Tech Baseball here on Vibe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Anyway, um, as we are now here, top of the sixth. So the as Wolf now comes up, here is the opportunity for the Titans. If they can just get the get three outs with no score, as that one goes, is the first ball, three outs, no score. That'll be all she wrote. Tries that one again. Two balls, no strikes. Again. And that one is strike number one. Something. 
So three balls, one strike. And that is a walk. So Wolf gets to first base, and it starts there. So Barnes now, Barnes now comes up. Strike one. Oh, that one is hit, but it is going. That one's going to the road. So now another opportunity. That will count as a strike. Let's try to hit that one. Got it to almost had somebody run to the second base. Trying to get something going. I guess there's some lightning in the distance. The Leopards are cheering on their teammates as another chance as that was a discussion between the two umps. Apparently not. One ball, two strikes. Is that one? Yeah, good. All down. No, nope. the ball is. Mathis was looking for the ball, couldn't find it for a split second. That one is hit high and to the left, and it's going. A chance. One run scored. Tie game. So we have a tie game at three, and there will be a bottom of the sixth at least. As... The Titans are now trying to talk to their team, trying to talk about what the strategy now will be. Just now joining us in a pretty eventful game. 
Started off with two runs by the Leopards. The Titans were able to match that. Then one up them, get over to three, and just moments ago, Leopards got their first run since the first inning. Tie game at three. So Horton now here. That is a ball. So something in the distance. Still no outs. Trying to get something. Two balls, no strikes, and definitely and no outs. Trying to get something. Two balls, one strike. Two balls, two strikes. Those. And that is the first out of the inning. Still man on. Still man out there on second. Uh, this. There seems to be some confusion out on the field. I don't know what is being discussed thus far. Okay, so they are um, is now talking to new tech coach. No one's really doing anything thus far. So we will, for now, take a short, quick break. And when everything comes back, we will let you know what happened. All of us love sports. 
Interested in Vibe Campus? Vibe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vibe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vibe U program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vibe Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out how to join Vibe Campus today. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. It increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. Always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. We are back. Um, don't really have much of a update on what has happened or what was being discussed. First one is a ball. In a man on second. Trying to get it, but can't. Safe. Dixon is the one at bat. Couldn't get that one going. And they'll hit that one. It's a little short, trying to get it in time, and he's out. Barnes was able to get the third base successfully. Two outs now, and the Titans just need one more to turn the field. As Stark is there, trying to help his... Fellow Leopard gets something going as that is strike one. Barnes looks very eager, wants to score, put the Leopards back on top. And trying to get something going as he gets back there just in time. One ball, one strike. Leopard still cheering on there. Brethren has two balls to one strike is now the official call. That was a swing and a miss. And that is out. Two balls, two strikes.
And a swing and a miss. And that will send us to the bottom of the sixth where the Titans only have to get one run to win the game. So we're not going to – we already played a commercial, so we're not going to go anywhere. We're just going to stay here for now. So the, for those of you just joining in, been a pretty eventful game thus far. Um, in the sixth inning, we had a – conference between the coaches and the umps and some of the players and don't really know what the consensus between or behind that was but it all started in the first inning well score wise it all started in the first inning LaGrange was able to score two in the first inning New Tech was able to res uh, was able to answer that in the second and third innings respectively getting all three getting one in the second, two in the third, making it 3-2. It was 3-2 for most of the game, so not too, mu uh, too much long ago. Moments ago, they were, uh, LaGrange was able to score to tie the game up to three. It had a chance to take the lead, but could not. And so now in comes the Titans with the opportunity to win it here. All they did need to do is get one run. One run, one score ends the game. If not, then we'll be seeing extra innings. And so they start off with Caden Easley. Battling for it, trying to get something going. Down. Strike one for Easley. Maybe that's strike two. Down, and that is a ball. That is a good one. Hit inside. It's mismanaged inside about left field. Center left field is about where it is. As easily as able to get to first base. Ruiz there, again, Ruiz at the very top of it all. As Ruiz was the first one to score for the Titans. Hit hard, but no good. So one ball would strike for Ruiz. Hit hard, goes, but it is caught. And that counts as an out. As that is Cypher. Cypher's been instrumental today. He helped get he helped get the Titans to three runs. He's trying to make sure that something's going. See something going. Two balls, no strikes. 
And with a man on first, 